The time has finally come for college hoops fans to dust off their printers, sharpen their pencils for those indecisive moments, and start <laughs> filling out your bracket. The one thing that we do know for certain when it comes to March Madness is that we don't really know too much about what's going to happen. There's always some excitement and upsets that follow, but we can look at some analytics that can help guide you towards which upsets to target. When we do look, Ash, at those analytics, it says that the one seed has only been defeated by the 16 seed one time. That was UMBC versus Virginia. Virginia in 2018. Now, when the one seed wins over a 16 seed, it's usually by more than 20 points. Only 13 times in the history of the tournament has the game been decided by less than 10 points. Not close. Not close. Not close. Analytics, not on your side. On average, six double digit seed teams in the first round advance to the second. Two double digit seeds advance out of the second round into the third, but only. 0.5 of a team, somehow you got to figure out that math, can advance beyond the Sweet 16. Three of the starting five. <laughs> that's that, it, and that, one coach. That's about it. We want you to keep your eye on the Big Ten this year. Mm -hmm. Two teams from the Big Ten have made it to the Sweet 16 in the final or the past 12 seasons. This includes in 2018 when the Big Ten only fielded four teams in the tournament, but they were Purdue Boilermakers and Michigan Wolverines, which are big-time big time. Big Ten players. This year, I've got my eye on the Purdue Boilermakers because they're a top 10 bona fide great team. And finally, if you are looking for a team that could pull off major upset. a major upset, you want to look dead in the eye of the number 15 seed because in their success over twos in the history of the tournament, it's been all about the free throws because traditionally a 15 seed that has beaten a two seed has taken more free throws than they have. As a matter of fact, they have scored 25% of their points in those upsets from the charity stripes. Historically, out of 140 games of the 15 and two matchup, only eight times has the underdog prevailed. In history, Ashley, what you're looking at when making your bracket is technically if you're going to pick a 15 or a 16 seed, it's not very likely to happen unless Cinderella is going to turn the magic pumpkin into a carriage. <laughs> so share your thoughts with us on Twitter. We want to see your brackets whenever you want. She's at Smart Ash. I'm Brad C. Smith.